the city of Prague takes a real beating during the action centerpiece of The Grey Man, which filmed on location in the Czech capital last summer and debuts on Netflix today. Czech police are mowed down by bullets, cobblestones are sent flying, and a poor number 11 tram is blown up and derailed during one of the finest action sequences you'll see this year. The Grey Man stars Ryan Gosling as Sierra 6, so named because 007 was taken, he jokes, a convict serving two decades in prison until he's recruited by CIA agent Fitzroy, Billy Bob Thornton, to come work as a titular agent, a disposable ghost trained by the government to carry out dangerous and dem. 20 years after he's recruited, Six finds himself in Bangkok and assigned to take out the target by slick new CIA honcho Denny Carmichael, Ruge Jean Page, before said target can sell off the valuable government data. But when Six confronts the target, Callan Mulvey, after a firefight, he reveals himself to be Sierra 4, a betrayed agent with proof of CIA misdoings on a flash drive, which he hands off to Six. Sensing the writing on the wall, Six refuses a rendezvous with Carmichael and hightails it out of Bangkok with the help of Fisroy, now a retired agent. Carmichael, meanwhile, hires ruthless private contractor Lloyd Henson, Chris Evans, to hunt down Six across the globe. To get the drop on Six, Henson kidnaps both Fitzroy and his young niece, Julia Butters. And that's pretty much the extent of the Grey Man's plot, which is disarmingly straightforward for this kind of thing. Six shows up somewhere, Hanson or his goons catch up with him, and an extended action sequence later he's off to the next location. Along the way, Gosling's character joins forces with a legit CIA agent who senses her superiors are up to no good played by Anita Ormus, meets up with a retired UK agency head who helps explain what's on the flash drive, Alfred Woodard, gets double-crossed by a German document forger, Wagner Moore. There's little reason to care about anything that goes on in The Grey Man, but the fast-paced storytelling from directors Joe and Anthony Russo, Avengers, Infinity War and Endgame, helped distract us from the simplicity of the script. Still, one might wish this real-life spy movie took things more seriously than a comic book blockbuster, The Grey Man's destructive action sequences seem to unfold without much consequence, while its characters never miss an opportunity to make a light-hearted quip, 